welcome back to Caroline's Closet. It is Saturday. It is time for another What Sold This Weekend. Spoiler alert, so far it's not much. Um, for those of you that have mentioned lately that you've been having trouble hearing me, I did order a new adapter for my phone so I can plug my microphone into it. it hasn't arrived yet, but hopefully early this week it will and I will be... Uh, hearable. I, you will be able to hear me again. Audible? What's the word? I don't know. Anyway, I used to start all these videos by saying it's not the best start to the weekend, not the worst, uh, and then the last few weeks have been okay. So this one I can officially say is pretty much the worst start to a weekend that I have had in a really long time. So first up, we have this little gun keychain. Sold on Mercari. It's a victory gun. On Mercari for five. <laughs> yeah. It didn't break. But yeah, that's just how my life goes. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and this is a Lou and Gray dress. Only been listed uh, since May 7th. So. Just a couple weeks, super lightweight, comfy dress with pockets, size small, $12.67, plus shipping on eBay. So those two items are my only two sales this Saturday morning, which is sad, but I do need to take a bunch of pictures. I don't have anything really ready to list. I'm going to get a huge, huge, huge jewelry lot listed for this weekend's auction last weekend's jewel jewel jewelry lot is up to 86 dollars now which is the highest one of my lots has gone and i keep thinking to myself i'm like if it goes any higher than that they're gonna be disappointed with this lot i start them at 9.99 so if somebody gets it for you know normally even like 50 60 70 dollars plus shipping it's still under 100 bucks they're getting a ton of stuff and i know they'll be super happy with it but now I'm worried. I'm like, if they get any higher, they're going to get this and be like, oh, this is a bunch of junk. So we'll see. I'll see how high it goes. Show this off. This cool bracelet. It's getting a little twisted. But um, this is one of my repurposing creations. It is a uh, plunder was the brand of the leather bracelet that came in a shop goodwill lot and it had something that was supposed to be attached here a little plate thingy that it was missing and so i had this awesome butterfly that i attached and i'm kind of experimenting with it because this is my first time i've used e6000 glue to put on a wearable piece of jewelry and I'm just kind of curious how well it'll hold plus I just really wanted to wear it because it's really cool I love this but I don't know if I'll sell it or keep it or slap a buck on it and sell it at the booth but I just thought it was really cool and I'd been looking for something that I wanted to stick to this leather bracelet and now I'm kind of testing to see how well E6000 holds up to wearable jewelry because um, I wouldn't want to sell it and have somebody get it and the butterfly fall off right away. So there's that. One of my little simplest possible creations I could make. And yeah, I'll get these two items packed up and shipped out and hopefully I'll have something else to show you. Hey everybody, it is Monday now, so I do actually have a few sales. By the time I went to bed Saturday night, I had one new sale that I would be shipping out today, and I was starting to get a little nervous because normally by Saturday nights I've got a couple and then Sundays are really good. I did end up with some, so I can't complain too much, but uh, yeah, I guess the whole country was busy protesting and if they weren't protesting they were taking advantage of the protest to try to loot and 
it was a really sad weekend all the way around. I, I'm not on this channel to get political or emotional or anything, but every time I turned on the news or my phone kept giving me local news breaks of several businesses around here that had been looted and hit and I just don't get it. I want people to be able to protest. I absolutely do. And there's people out there taking complete advantage of it. And it's the perfect opportunity for them to break windows and cause fires and it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. So if you were out looting this weekend, I condemn you and I don't care if you stop watching my channel because I don't really want you on my channel. If you were out peacefully protesting this weekend, thank you. I appreciate you. Anyway, that being said, these are my sales from my main eBay account. Um, six of them? Yes. I think. This is a Damn the Defiant DVD, $7.67 plus shipping. This is a coach handbag, my best sale for the weekend. Aside from my jewelry box, which did get bid up to, I think it ended at the $86 or whatever it was at on Saturday, but they haven't paid yet. So that would be my best sale for the weekend, assuming they pay. But this coach bag, I accepted a $75 offer on that with free shipping. Then this is just heart and hips, size medium, navy blue, super lightweight, long sleeve dress, sold for $9.34 plus shipping. This bracelet sold for Six dollars and twelve six dollars and fourteen cents plus shipping. This bracelet sold for six dollars and ninety-four cents plus shipping. These are plastic, but it's still fun. Little green nuggets. Six ninety-four plus shipping. And then this is is this the right one? No, where's my, oh, this one is eight pairs of teardrop shaped various earrings, silver tone teardrop earrings, sold for $12.67 plus shipping. And I will be back, I think I have like one on Poshmark, a couple on my other eBay account, and two on Amazon, something like that. I'll get them out and I will show you next. All right, the next five items are from my smaller eBay account. Um, yeah, so this is a little Wings of War die, die cast war plane sold for $17.67 plus shipping. It's been listed since December, so it took half a, half a year to get him gone. This is a Lucky Brand, oops, wrong way, Lucky Brand necklace. It's one of the fun ones where you can wear it multiple ways. So you can wear it layered like this with all of the chains, or you can wear any one of these on their own, or you could take one of them off and just have these two, or just have these two. So there's like seven different ways that you can wear this necklace. It is new with tags. This came in my shop Goodwill lot that was all name brand designer type items. This sold for $17 and no $16.67 plus shipping. I just listed it either Friday or Saturday. This also came from that same box and this was my only broken piece in the box. It is a Miriam Haskell brooch and it had several beads fallen off. One chunk of it was missing the little wire piece and the beads had fallen off. So I auctioned it off for $9.99 um, plus shipping and it actually bid up to $11.50 within the first day that I had it listed on auction. So I was like, oh, maybe somebody's gonna, there's gonna be a war on this. But no, it stayed at 11.50 the rest of the time and that's what it sold for. Uh, but it's 
a broken vintage bead brooch that I was debating on what I wanted to do with, if I wanted to throw it in a craft lot or, but I thought I'd try it on auction and somebody wanted it, so. And I'm sending them the beads that were in the bottom of the Shop Goodwill box so that they can maybe find somebody to rewire it and put them back on or do whatever. But this little eagle pin is unsigned, unmarked. I just liked it, blue and white, little enamel birds sold I sent a four dollar offer plus shipping it's been listed a couple months finally had a watcher it was only asking like six or seven bucks to begin with Five. and then these three pairs of earrings little silver tone laser cut fun earrings sold together for nine dollars and 67 cents plus shipping all right, my final three sales, that makes 14 for today, which after having a couple weekends where Mondays was over 20, it's kind of sad, but that's okay. It happens. This is just a chainsaw chain, uh, $16.67. That was from a friend of mine, consignment stuff, so, uh, and that has free shipping. A fly that just startled the heck out of me. Um, free shipping because it's on Amazon, but then I'll give her a couple bucks of whatever is left. Um, this is The World is Flat, A Brief History of the 21st Century. Book sold on Amazon for $10.67 with free shipping as well. And then this is my only Poshmark sale. It is just this crochet, brown crochet purse. Uh, kind of like the sack, but this one is unbranded, and it's sold. They sent me a $9 offer. I think I had it down to $12 was my asking price, so their offer was $9. I don't have to give them a shipping discount or anything, so that's it. I have nothing on Mercari other than that little keychain that I showed off on Saturday. Um, this week on Mercari, I think I only shipped three items which is really light it had been picking up and picking up and picking up and i was like yay mercari's gonna catch up to ebay and, and be my next big thing and now it's dropped off again i do notice a lot more mercari advertisements than i've seen for ebay or poshmark or anything else lately so hopefully that will keep up and the sales will pick up there again I mean, sales were light everywhere, but didn't have anything going out on Ruby Lane, which makes two straight weeks of nothing going out on Ruby Lane, which means today I paid my invoice for the month of May, and I lost money with the few items that sold on there by the time I covered my expenses. So that's my first whole month on there, and I only had three total sales, and I am up to 97 active listings, I think. I'm going to do my second review of Ruby Lane once I get to 150 active listings. Um, and I kind of want, I, I want to give it at least three months before I make any permanent judgments, but I want to give it a little time so I have something to talk about. Hopefully a few more sales come in. Um, but yeah, it has died off completely too. I don't think I'm the only one though. I think I saw in some forums that some other people this week were like, hey, wait a minute. I haven't had any sales in a week and I've never gone a week without sales. So I don't think it's just me. And maybe this is just the wrong time to be testing a new platform because everything is wacky and who knows what people are buying and what the next month will bring. But we'll see. That's it. If anything else comes in in the next two or three hours before the mailman comes, I will show it off. Alright guys, it's Tuesday. I never did finish this yesterday. I'm sorry. No other sales came in. In fact, I have three items shipping out today, which is pretty pathetic for a Tuesday. But, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get those out and then list like crazy and hope for a better week. I did last night spend a little too much money on shopgoodwill.com so I've got some more boxes coming I already have some here that I need to open um so yeah I'm just going to enjoy my jewelry and 
hope for better sales. I hope you guys are having good sales this week and this weekend and going forward. And thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe if you are not. And stay tuned for better weeks to come. Bye, guys.